Uh, hey guys, just wanted to say a thing before the video starts. I'm sorry if I my English is not the better, like it's not the best English. I'm just not a dominant talker, so yeah, I'm sorry. I'm so and sorry, like I just said, I'm not the best at speaking English. And sorry if I uh, maybe say a little bit of mistakes or maybe some bad words. Yeah, I just wanted to apologize bef before the video, so yeah, just be aware of that. Okay. So yeah. Bueno, este. Hello, how are you guys? Uh, I hope you're pretty good. Uh, this is actually my first English video. I mean, yeah, I just want to practice more my English. So yeah, and I mean, it's probably gonna get more views. So yeah, uh, this is my first RAM. No, I mean, I got this one over here, but this is actually my... I mean, I don't know, I just think it's kind of a good RAM because it's kind of compact and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how it works. So, first, we, we got to aim clear every one of this because I'm uh, probably reading some stuff. Uh, if you notice, this is on uh, another language, just because it's my native language, which is Spanish. So yeah, as I told you, this is my first video in English. So yeah, uh, well, um, we'll get started. Okay, uh, so first thing we gotta do is obviously input a number. This is on binary. I mean, it doesn't do addition or uh, subtraction or anything. It just stores numbers. So yeah, it's it's a RAM basically. So let's input. Uh, 10 to RAM 1. Okay, yeah, by the way, these are all the commands. Here we have the inputs, which are 8 for where you input your number. Here we have the functions, which are write, read, and you can select the RAM you want. And here we have the output. Okay, so we are, we write 10, we select RAM 1, so we're gonna write it. Here we go. And as you see, if we read RAM 1, it's going to input 10, which is 8 and 2. Okay, so let's write another number on RAM 2. Uh, let's write uh, 6. Let's write it. There we go. And now if we read RAM 2, it's going to input 6. Yeah, so now uh, let's do RAM 3, which are both of these ones. This is a 4-bit RAM. Yeah, this is a 4-bit RAM. So yeah, uh, we have input RAM 3. Uh, let's write 11, maybe. Let's write it. There we go. Let's read it. There we go. 11. So yeah, I mean, this is a pretty fast RAM. To my opinion, this is a pretty fast RAM. And it's pretty small for its for its size. I mean, this is a 4-bit RAM and this is my first computer over here. Uh, I mean, it's basically this but in there. So this is a 4-bit RAM too. But it's way bigger and slower. And this one, yeah. Oh, by the way, the cell module, the cell, the cell module, it's not mine. Uh, it's built by another YouTuber. I, I'll put his name in the description because right now I don't remember his name. But yeah, it's not mine. What it, what it, what it is mine is the whole busing and circuit. So yeah, I mean, I think it's a pretty cool RAM. Oh, and I also want to ask for some tips because I want to do some things, but I don't know how. I want to, uh, so I, w I want to ask you guys, hope. The thing I want to do is basically show, like, if, let's imagine we have a thing here. Uh, what I want to do is basically show if uh, a RAM is used. So let's say we here we got a RAM. One, two, three. Okay. So what I want to do is if I input, I don't know, uh, let's say 
six into RAM one, which we should be getting here. There we go. Uh, I wanna I wanna input that basically tells us that RAM one is filled. Okay, like it's being used. So I don't know how to do that because uh, here we don't have very much space as you can see and yeah I want some help because this RAM module it's pretty small and compact compared to that one over there so yeah I, I just want some tips from you guys so of what I could do to maybe do that stuff that I just told you so if I write uh, I don't know some stuff into RAM 1 that it can appear here pop that RAM 1 is being used so yeah please uh, I would appreciate it if you guys help me out in the comments. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to showcase uh, my RAM, my RAM design, a 4-bit RAM. And uh, we will have more Redstone videos coming in in a few weeks maybe. Uh, yeah, I will, I will start uploading more often about Redstone. Because this is my first video about Redstone. So yeah, I mean, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, and see you later.